Coming out of a, the slam truck that you drive most days, how unusual is it being at this ride height? It's weird going from one to another. Using daily driving a dually into the square, but I feel like I'm dragging my ass on the ground. I got in yours yesterday to pull it in, and it's like, I felt like like something was broken. Like, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's hammered on the ground, and it's such a different feeling. Same windshield, same truck, just three feet lower to the ground. Anything you hit with this truck, you're going straight through it. You know? <laughs> That's how fucking badass oh, this man. truck is. Through it or over it, yeah. getting in something that's just legitimately my daily driver and trying to talk about it like it's a hot rod. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving the truck today like I do every day <laughs> in the rain like I do every other day. Let's not have to worry about all that crap, just get in and go. I think that's what most of our customers are wanting. They want an old truck they can just get in and go and not worry about all the uh, nuances and uh, pain in the ass that you sometimes have to deal with with a hot rod, so. Absolutely, this is, to me, I mean, I think we agree from the get-go, this was like the next level of Survivor. Like the Survivor cars are awesome, right? But how many guys, other than Dave Garfield, who piles like hundreds of thousands of miles on them, not a lot of guys legitimately use it as a daily year-round car. And this, I feel like, satisfies that, that next market. It's what can you drive that's a classic car is full-blown daily driver. Rain, snow, sun, whenever. We toned uh, a lot of the options down and took some of the uh, the crazy hot rod industry stuff out of it to make it a really bulletproof kind of OEM level package that will go under these square body trucks and legitimately build yourself a kick-ass old school daily driver. Oh yeah, yeah, this truck now we're closing in on almost 15,000 miles down to the Florida Keys and back out through the Carolinas, up into northern Wisconsin. It's, it's been everywhere. Like, it, this thing has just been an absolute mule. Was this what they actually, Johnny Cash sang the song about, that I've been everywhere? I think it was. I think he was actually, that's like the history we don't really talk about, but like, you go way back, Johnny Cash and Waylon, I think, you know, they both drove this exact truck, and it was kind of their vision. I just took it from them, you know? But then that's just how <laughs> badass it is, you know? That's, I mean, the chassis is the absolute core of it. Sure, the truck's super cool. This is a badass Survivor truck. You know, it's got stock interior. This uh, blanket actually came in the truck when we got it. It's got a crack in the dash, like the crack in the Liberty Bell. You know? <laughs> nice. It's, uh... <laughs> adds character. Yeah, it adds character, but the real, like, meat and potatoes of this thing is what's underneath it. You know, that, that new Legend chassis platform, we're almost, what, three and a half years in the making of getting ready to release this. It's been probably the longest, most involved engineering process that, that we've had you know, up to date, but it's such a detailed, dialed in package that not only does it give you like the daily driver truck, but it makes the build so easy because we figured all the things, like this is going to work 100%. You're not gonna have any issues with anything, fuel, cooling, brakes, it's all there. There's a core support engineered, all factory GM, like everything's OEM. It's just good. I mean, the shit is just gonna work and work really well. This actually works really well too because I'm handicapped, as we all know, when it comes <laughs> technology. to technology. So this here Vintage Air three knob slider. It's right in your wheelhouse. Oh man, it is, <laughs> yeah. That, I can run that thing like nobody's business. Can slide those knobs with the best of them. Three and a half years in development, 15,000 miles on a demo vehicle, a lot of changes, improvements, upgrades to get it dialed in. Going to be released this year at SEMA, the new Legends truck chassis platform for square body trucks. Yeah, we started with the square body truck. We felt our generation, it's the most iconic, just tough, masculine looking truck. I know I get some haters for saying that, but we've already uh, kind of progressed into the K5s. Uh, C10s are coming soon. We've got a package for the narrower track with trucks like the Broncos, the Jeep, uh, you know, the Wagoneers are fairly popular, so we're gonna have something available for those. And it is a little different than our standard chassis stuff because you, 
you have to use the components that this is figured out with. So it's not like it's it's like carte blanche or it's like you can't have everything. Yeah, right? there's gonna be limitations. Right. You can't pick you know some crazy supercharged LS motor or configure like you normally would a hot rod. It's a complete engineered package where everything kind of plays off the next component in line. Yep. And it's designed to be a you know kind of one piece soup to nuts, front to back, bolt in under your truck, and you've got a proven dialed in platform with the electronics package to work, the fuel package to work, the cooling package, the braking, the steering, everything's there, everything's been tested, everything's been proven, and it takes a lot of the guesswork out so you can get your truck on the road a whole lot quicker. Oh, it takes the guesswork out and it takes 90% of the build process out of it because we will be offering these as pretty complete rollers, I mean, right down to the wheels and tires. I mean, you essentially drop a truck on them, there's no modifications, make a few connections and like, you're rolling. And on a day like today, I mean, we're approaching winter, but the coolest thing about this is now we're in four wheel drive. Turn that knob, four wheel drive on the fly. Uh, we've got a transfer case control module that uh, we work closely with an electronics company to develop. So LT platforms, LT1, LT4, 8L90, HD transfer case, independent front GM suspension, and you're in four wheel drive, out of four wheel drive, you're not yanking sticks, you're not getting out and locking hubs, such a simple, usable truck. So I feel like we just kind of glazed over the whole suspension side of it and just assumed that it's just a chassis with suspension, but yeah. I think this is a, a complete new page for us, and especially in the four wheel drive world, right? We started with our RS4, um, kind of more of a purpose-built, badass off-road vehicle that is still very drivable, highway drivable, but it's got a straight axle front, which does have some limitations. For this truck, wanted something a little bit more for the, the daily driver. Not as hardcore on the off-road side, but uh, we looked at what was in the OEM world and uh, kind of looked at a couple different models and settled on the uh, 2015 to 2017 Silverado. Yeah, it's a widely supported platform. Building a frame that accepts those components and putting everything in its stock location. It's no different than buying a, uh, you know, like a brand new Chevy truck. And it's just such a detailed package, like right down to the steering system in it. It utilizes a GM hydraulic steering rack. The electric stuff just isn't quite there to retrofit it into anything. And there's no quality aftermarket solutions. So did a ton of experimenting with various pumps, various pulley sizes to the point where we machined all that and duplicated you know, some factory GM ratios. So the steering in this truck, I mean, it's just so good. It's no whining, no groaning, full lock, great assist. I can't stress enough, it's just the ultimate daily driver. That's Which you have been daily driving for two years now. So. Yeah, yeah, I've been daily driving it for two years. I actually had to pull all my crap out of here. As Phil knows, I like to have a lot of things <laughs> in my vehicles, so about 20 minutes ago before we jumped in to do this video, there was a jigsaw, some jigsaw blades, a Carhartt jacket, there's some fuel cans in the back, some boxes. Interestingly enough though, you can't fit a full seven foot door in the back. It's taking a door out of the house. Yeah. So this bed is- It's a six foot bed. Six foot bed, but it's a seven foot doorway, I guess it just misses it. I would have thought you'd slide that sucker in there and close it up. But. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought you would try to put that in this truck, but. Oh yeah, there's a lot of things I try to put in this truck. <laughs> you know, but the point being is that it's legitimately, you've got a hot rod because it's fast as hell with 630 horse. So you could take it out and do hot rod things with it, cruise night. But for those of you who may not have that Chevy truck or new truck laying around in your fleet, this is a truck. So use it. like. You're going to grab your Christmas tree, Christmas tree goes in the back. You're grabbing mulch, mulch goes in the back. It's got a helper bag system. It's got a hitch on it. You're going to throw your small boat in the water. You're pulling your motorcycle, throwing your dirt bikes in the back. This is a chassis meant to put under something that you're going to use. I mean, there's so much detail on this thing, you know, right down to the fasteners on the chassis. We learned a tremendous amount about what it takes when you drive a vehicle year round. I mean, we're in the Midwest, there's salt on the roads. It's absolute hell on chassis components. So learning like the salt spray on a standard grade eight zinc plated bolt. It's turned orange pretty quick. Yeah, it's just not good enough for something that you're gonna use the way that we use this. So every bolt under there is zinc plated. 
high salt spray content on them so they'll last forever. It's so well thought out. Totally different animal when you're looking at putting, you know, 100,000 miles on something instead of something that you're gonna take out on the weekends. Yeah, this package, it originally started with the concept of putting them under square body trucks and they would be exclusively built through the Roadster shop. So as a turnkey running driving truck, as we progressed with the engineering, and the more and more parts that we came out with and the more detailed the chassis package became and the more I just enjoyed driving the thing, it seemed like an absolute shame to not share it with the general public and general chassis customers. Yeah, so, there's a huge market of guys that this is a home run for. Yeah, absolutely. So we're dropping it at SEMA this year. It's gonna be in our booth, a full rolling chassis outfitted with all the parts and pieces that are available with it. So we have a complete rolling turnkey kit that will be in our booth debuting at SEMA. Gotta stop by and check it out. And we are also building these trucks as turnkey full builds or survivor builds. If you're interested in having a truck built, hit us up for that as well. With 630 horsepower and an LT4, this truck absolutely rips. And for some reason, like all the badass cars we've built, I've very seldom found myself lining up next to like a worthy opponent on the street. This thing, every time I drive it, there's like a Z06 C6 vet, there's some hopped up muscle car, some, something badass that you end up at the stoplight next to and you just absolutely punish them. Yeah, I, I embarrassed a guy in an M3, <laughs> put a couple car length, truck lengths on him. The old lifted square body Chevy blew his doors off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this opens up like a whole new kind of genre of car build. Be cool to see. I mean, we know what we're doing with them, the vehicles we've put on them, but it'll be neat to see these get out there to some builders and see what kind of spin they put on them. Yeah, I think it'll give the builders kind of a huge launch pad too, because you're taking care of the majority of the stuff that they spend their time sourcing and figuring out right. on the drivetrain, on the fuel system, on the cooling system, on the steering, on the brakes. That's all taken care of for you and it works and then you can just go right to maybe dressing up the valve covers and making the motor look good but you can spend all your time on the details of the actual vehicle oh, yeah. and not have to worry about the mechanicals. We saved you on the budget by giving you a killer turnkey package so spend that budget but <laughs> do something <laughs> cool make some kind of badass topper or something. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the builds out there but yeah check it out SEMA don't miss it. <laughs>